I'll share here Sister Genevieve's testimony, which I thought was interesting. Amazing that just happened. So, uh, I just watched Brother Patrick from Hourly Watch. I just watched his video where he's speaking about Miriam. Um, Miriam, apparently he's speaking about um, how Miriam, you know, helped deliver Moses and um, Miriam is in the consolation. And so he's speaking, I will put the link to his video in my description box. But I watched the video and straight after watching the video, the Lord tells me, go and look up the gematria for Miriam. And so lo and behold, as you know, uh, what Patrick has found, our brother who is steering the Rapture cruise ship, glory to God, just as the Lord revealed to me in 2019, hallelujah, that brother Patrick, hallelujah, is steering the Rapture cruise ship. And this is no surprise why he is finding all that he is finding. And, um, and so, as you know, our precious brother has found an amazing sign in the heavens regarding uh, the 15th of September, the child being born. And again, even as Patrick said, um, no one's setting a date. We have to share with you what the Lord is showing us. Um, but um, no one's saying, this is the thus saith the Lord, it's going to happen on that day because only the Lord knows. But I have to share with you what just happened. I just finished watching his recent video regarding Miriam. And the Lord says to me, look up the, look up the gematria for Miriam. Lo and behold, my family in Christ, the gematria, the Hebrew gematria for Miriam is 159. 159, 15th of September, what are the chances? And the 15th of September is when the child is is born or child is delivered and that's the same thing that Miriam is also showing there delivering the child I mean what <laughs> glory to God and another thing I want to share with you is the 72650 that I shared with you guys. so I just wanted to share that with you and normally I really don't look too much at the issues related to gematria as this is relating to the numbers. But one interesting thing about Gematria to me is, uh, for example, the name, holy name of God, Hashem or yod Hey vav Hey Yahweh, comes out in Hebrew to 26. And um, so this is interesting in that, uh, to me, it is interesting. Well, 26 is a unique number. It's the only number that is between a square and a cube. 25 is 5 squared and 27 is 3 square uh, cubed. So it's the only number in all the numbers that it has this unique value. But also, especially to say the earth is pulsating every 26 seconds. So just to say that's one interesting thing about Gematria that had, did catch my attention. Uh, 26 is also the, the value of God in in English, if you take A is 1 and B is 2, if you add the number letters G-O-D, it comes out to 26. And uh, so in Hebrew, Gematria is 26, and the earth is pulsating at 26. So that is just one interesting thing, and God can use this if he desires. He doesn't fit in anyone's box. And the thing that she is sharing about is in this particular uh, video uh, that uh, Brother Patrick did, just showing... Uh, Miriam at the feet of the woman that is Virgo in the sky in the constellations and 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 with the child having passed through the womb area of Virgo and Miriam is there at the feet as though she's helping to deliver the child and what is the significance of Miriam well Miriam helped to lead the children she not only helped to deliver and save Moses when he was a born, and um, she, she also, when they crossed the Red Sea, she led the singing and the dancing and the praising and the rejoicing, crossing the Red Sea. And uh, 
there is a sense we believe this uh, in sign in Revelation 12 that the uh, woman clothed with the sun, the moon at her feet, 12 stars over her head, labored in pain to give birth and gave birth to a male child. And there is a uh, corporate sense which we believe this child represents the body of Christ. In a singular sense, it represents Jesus Christ who's going to rule and reign over the world. Just as in a singular sense, Virgo here, the virgin represents Mary. She gave birth to Christ. But in the corporate sense, this woman represents Israel, 12 stars over her head, just like Genesis 37, Joseph's dream. So the woman in a corporate sense represents Israel. And the child, in a corporate sense, represents the body of Christ. And the Bible says the child was snatched up to God in his throne. And the dragon was at the feet of the woman to devour the child the moment it was born. But here, Brother Patrick had found, and what Sister Genevieve is talking about, Miriam had found uh, that Miriam is an asteroid, as well as child is an asteroid. Miriam is an asteroid at the feet of the woman just on the fe Feast of Trumpets, just after the Feast of Trumpets, and there is Miriam. And uh, we, we, we so saw that, that uh, the child on the last day of 5783, that is the Jewish year we're in right now, which this, that, that year, 5783, ends on September 15, 2023. That is the last day of 5783. And Jesus said, I'll raise you up on the last day. What last day? Well, only God knows for sure exactly uh, the last day of the church age. You know, but uh, could be the last day of 5783. This is speculation. Only God knows for sure. I do not know. I'm not a prophet. I'm not predicting anything for sure. I'm just observing signs and get sharing food for thought and observations. As we are together seeing the convergence of all sign and the darkness coming down in the world and the evil that is happening in the world and the manipulation of human DNA and uh, artificial intelligence and what they're trying to do both in many different ways for world government, world religion, we're looking for Jesus Christ to come and this sign is interesting in that so what, so what she, so what Sister Genevieve found that was the Hebrew gematria of Miriam is 159. You need to say this is, that is in Hebrew, and that is here in the Hebrew gematria of Miriam is 159. Now in the world, they write the day first and then the month. In America, we write the month first and then the day. But in most of the world, they write the day first and then the month. So the 159 at least uh, reminds us of the 15th of September. And the 15th of September is the last day of 5783. And it is the day the child is cross, getting preparing to cross that imaginary line in the constellation Virgo where Miriam was... Uh, well, Miriam was there as a uh, asteroid, named an asteroid. And, you know, God is sovereign. He did say a great sign appeared in heaven in Revelation chapter 12. Uh, this could be a major clue. It could be a very interesting thing. Only God knows for sure the day and the hour. Uh, this is food for thought. This Hebrew Bible uh, code, um, based on skip codes, uh, had... Um, this is, I think he named this uh, relevant to our time, 5783. But in this particular Bible code table, there was uh, the, in the, in the skip code, Ketz, Tafshi, and Pei Gimel. That is the end of 5783 and the word Messiah uh, three times. So I just want to share that with you. I thought it was interesting, and I hope it encourages you and comforts you as we are watching and waiting for that great and glorious day when our Savior will appear in the clouds to snatch us to the place he has prepared is anything you want to do for the lord dear friends you better do it today do it do it today you might not have tomorrow it might be august 2nd on the day of love 
It might be tonight. It might be within an hour. Only God knows for sure the day and the hour. But we have reason to hope, dear friends, that it is soon and very, very soon. We're not going to be here long. On Jordan's stormy banks I stand and cast a wishful eye To Canaan's fair and happy land where my possessions lie I am bound for the promised land I am bound for the promised land Oh, who will come and go with me? I am bound for the promised land No chilling winds or or poisonous breath can reach that healthful shore sickness and sorrow pain and death are felt and feared no more i am bound for the promised land i am bound for the promised land oh who will come and go with me i am bound for the promised land when shall i reach that happy happy place and be forever blessed when shall i see my father's face and in his bosom rest i am bound for the promised land i am bound for the promised land oh who will come and go with me i am bound for the promised land let me urge you, turn to Jesus Christ and receive the gift of eternal life and forgiveness of sins. Do you desire to be close to God? If you desire to be close to God, there is a bridge. Jesus made that bridge on the cross. And the Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. And if you don't want to be close to God, then I uh, just go your way. And uh, But we would urge you, to consider the great blessing of being close to God and the great danger of being separated from God because when you're separated from God and you die, you're going to be separated from God for all eternity. Prepare, dear friends, for eternity. You have an eternal soul. You have an eternal soul, and you cannot change that. Your soul is eternal. So fear God and turn to Jesus Christ, who is the Holy Lamb of God. And the Savior of the world, trust in Jesus and receive the gift. Jesus told the woman at the well, if you knew the gift of God and who it is that's speaking to you, you would have asked of him and he would have given you living water. So turn to Jesus Christ today and ask him for that gift of eternal life and forgiveness of your sins. Today is the day of salvation. Check this website, he died for you.com. God bless you.